Okay, is this thing on? I think it might be. Hello, everybody. I know, I know, I haven't been around for quite a while, but it's because I've had a lot of stuff going on. I'm gonna tell you about that stuff shortly. If you watch the other videos, I think you might know what's happening. So, uh, whew, it's warm. Um, <laughs> there's been a lot happening around here. Um, and I can't wait to share it with you. There's going to be a new web series debuting very soon in a couple of months. And it has a lot to do with a trip that I'm taking. So stay tuned for that. Uh, go to my other videos. You'll hear more about that in the last two videos that I put up on this channel. So today, what I wanted to do is an unboxing. Yes, I want to do an unboxing for you. So this is a very raw video. Um, I got a package from Louis. Um, Louis is a company that sells spinning wheels and I decorated my spinning wheel and gave them a picture of my decorated spinning wheel and in return oh hold up my phone is ringing okay I'm back um, <laughs> sorry about that okay let's get to the unboxing let's get to the unboxing okay Alright, so this is from Louis. Like I said, this is um, a box of fiber, about six pounds worth of fiber. Now they said they were gonna send me seven, so I don't know. I'm not saying I was cheated out of fiber, I'm just saying. Wait, was it seven? I gotta check. <laughs> I have to check. But it's a good amount of fiber, okay? Um, they said it was gonna be like $200 worth, so let's see. I already opened the box, but I didn't open the fiber yet. So I wanna show you guys what was here. What's here? Back. Let's start with the first one. Okay, so this says that it is a merino silk top. And the color is golden hibiscus. See that right there? Golden hibiscus. All right. Uh, let's see. So, see if I can open it for a minute. Ooh, this is beautiful. This is silk and merino, guys. This is wonderful. This is gonna be great for blending. I am. I am in love with this color. And it really feels great. I'm, I am going to, I, I got eight ounces, by the way. This is eight ounces of this. So um, I can't wait to blend with it and show you the blending that I do with this. So let's put this aside. Uh, let's do that. Okay, next one. All right, so this right here, this is a Special Gotland bundle, 12 ounces. Special Gotland bundle. So, um, I kind of peeked at the card that I got with this. So let me go in and read the little card that they gave to me. Uh, let's summarize for a bit, cause it's kind of long. Um, oh, let me turn off my phone. My phone is just going off like crazy. Um, so, okay, so this is a Gotland fiber um, I've received, and it's a mini breed study kit. Hmm. Um, this fiber was scoured, as in washed, and after it was washed, they separated it into three parts. That's what they're telling me. Um, Gotland sheep are native to Sweden, and the three parts are four ounces of washed Gotland fleece, okay? Then we have four ounces of gray Gotland saliva, okay? 
And then we got Gotland top. So it was combed into top. So um, the fleece is awesome because I love fleece. Right? Hey, you, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I love cleaning me some fleece. So this is the fleece locks that it came in, if you can see that. Pretty awesome, right? I love it. I think it's great. So I'm going to enjoy combing that out. So this is four ounces, which is four, five, six, eight, eight, 12 ounces, four ounces of each. Uh, really interested in the top and the sliver, but I have to say it's not that exciting to me, only because like I've worked with top and sliver before. So I kinda, I don't even wanna open it, I don't know. Let me see. This is sliver, you know, very spinnable fiber uh, and then top. I'm gonna use it to blend. It's gray. I have a lot of gray fiber in my stash right now. So, um, yeah, not that exciting. But the fleeces to me, I, I wanna work with the fleece. Only because I can manipulate it a lot more in that way because it's not fully processed. So, yeah. Oh, ooh, I'm gonna show you this one. This one I wanna show you. This is 8020 merino silk top. So I think it's 80% merino, 20%. Why are these cars though? 80% merino, 20% silk top in light blue. Ooh, this is so pretty. I am in love with this color. I am like, what? I swear, they're, so, they're being so noisy in my community. Like, they're being noisy. Oh, oh, sorry. I gotta put this up here. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, ooh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That is beautiful. Let's see if you can get a close up of this. See that? This is lovely. I am in love with that. This is wonderful. I can't wait to spin this up. I, I'm in love with this. Um, I'm, I'm probably, here's what I'm gonna do with this one. I'm probably going to spin four, four ounces of it. And then the rest of it, I'm gonna use for blending fiber. So four ounces, I'm just gonna make flat out yarn with it. And I'm gonna spin yarn. And then the other ones, I'm gonna mix it in with other fibers and see what that looks like. So yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Let's see, um, okay. So I have this already, but it's still worth having because I think I'm running low. So they sent me eight ounces of Copworth Sliver. See that right there? Copworth Sliver. Uh, sorry about the noise guys, I just didn't, I didn't feel like putting on a microphone. I could have cut out a lot of this noise if I just put on a mic today, but I have a lot of things to do, so couldn't put on a mic. But this is Copworth Sliver in light beige, I guess. Um, and yeah, this is, uh, I think I've shown you Sliver before. I mean, not Sliver, uh, I think I've shown you Copworth before, but I'll show it to you again. Uh, I like Copworth, but I do, I, I will say it's worth it to mix it with another fiber. Um, mix it with either, either like a silk or mix it with, see that right there? It's worth it to mix it with like either a silk. It reminds me of like thin sheet fiber. Um, it's very elastic, kind of. Um, it's nice, but it's a, it's a great blending fiber with something else, like a silk or a bamboo. If you have bamboo, I would definitely 
mix it in with bamboo. So I would card it with bamboo and then spin it up. Um, and you're going to get a texture of yarn that you really enjoy. So that is that. So let's just tie that up there. Put that to the side. Okay, moving on. Ooh, 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 I, okay. So this is Copworth Sliver in White. I'm not gonna open it because it's just white fiber and it's kind of the same. And once again, I would mix it with another fiber after I dye it up or leave it white and then mix it with another fiber that's already dyed. Uh, I like Copworth because it's a good blending fiber. So this is what they sent me, Copworth White. Let's see. Now, this is interesting. I don't think I've ever spun Jacob Top before. This is eight ounces of Jacob Top. I don't think I've ever spun with Jacob Top before. So I'm interested in seeing what that's like. Um, yeah. This is Jacob Top. Ooh, okay. All right, look at that. Oh, I love it. Ooh, let me, I have to pull some of this off. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. Look at that staple. <gasps> look at that. <gasps> Ooh, this is nice. <gasps> this is nice. This is gorgeous. Ooh, I love it. Ooh, oh my goodness. This is really nice. Oh, I can't wait to spin with it. Ooh, oh my gosh. I, oh, I'm in love already. I'm, I'm so into this. This is, ooh, okay, okay, okay. This was, yeah, I'm, ooh, yeah. What, what, what? This is gonna be interesting. I can't wait to spin with this. Great, oh wow. This is great. Let's just put that there, okay. Moving on, moving forward. Oh, let's see, all right. Okay, oh, all right. This is going to, oh, uh, ooh, okay. Okay, this is 100% cashmere blending fiber. So this is cashmere. Ooh, four ounces of cashmere from Woolery. Look at that. Ooh, let me open this up. I don't, I, I've spun with cashmere before, but um, I think I had a small amount of cashmere that I worked with. So I'm interested. I'm, ooh, oh, ooh, wow, okay. I had a cashmere blend, but not full cashmere before. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, whoa. See that? Oh, wow. This is definitely blending fiber. I would, yeah. Like this is, this is a whole lot of fiber to blend with. This is cashmere for blending. This hasn't even been combed into a sliver. So yeah, this is definitely what you would use to blend in with your other fibers. You know what, I'm probably, I'm probably going to use this as a blend um, with the Jacob. That's what I'm probably gonna do. I'm gonna use this cashmere and blend it in with Jacob and see how it turns out. I think that would be gorgeous. Um, I can't wait to do that. So I'm gonna get on that. This is great. This is, I can't wait. That's gonna be interesting. <laughs> That's gonna be interesting. Okay, moving on. Last but not least, my last package okay what am i doing this box okay there we go <laughs> uh 
Ah, uh, yes. So this is um Kramer Yarns. This is Meow wait. Milch Chunky Roaming. Um 100% US wool from the American Wool Council, but they don't tell me what kind of wool it is. Um see if anybody knows this company, let me know. This is all, like, a lot of this is companies that I've never ordered from before. So if anybody knows what Kramer Yarn, Kramer Yarn is, let me know in the comment section below. But, um, yeah, so this is a raspberry. This is probably Merino. I'm thinking that this is Merino. This, I don't think this could be anything else but Merino, to be honest with you. So let me, let me get in here for a sec. I'm gonna rebag this, so they put it in a really nice bag, but um, yeah. They, ooh, it's Sliver. So it is Sliver. They did comb it into a Sliver, but I think it's Merino. I don't think this could be anything else but. Um, either Merino or Quarrydale. See that right there? Yeah. Either it's Merino or Quarrydale. Um, yeah. But it's gorgeous. And the color is beautiful. I don't have a lot of fuchsia. I think this is fuchsia. Um, I think I've probably dyed maybe one batch of fuchsia. Um, and then that was it. So this is great, and it's one pound of it, so that's awesome. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely gonna be using this. I will spin up some of it, but most of it's probably gonna be um, blending fiber, just because, like, come on. It's it's raspberry, it's pink. Um, <laughs> like, so it's, it's pretty, but it's very in your face. So I'm probably going to blend a lot of this yeah so thank you guys for watching this video <laughs> and watching me open up my fiber for today if you like videos like this just give it a thumbs up um leave a comment in the comment section below uh i am slowly uploading videos i've been doing more editing and I'm really interested in putting out videos that I really enjoy doing. I liked doing this. I like showing you guys cool stuff that I work with. Um, I wanna show you more demos about spinning and weaving. Um, there's a couple of like actual shows that are gonna be coming out shortly. In the fall though, not in the summer. So this is where I do a lot of editing time. Um, but there's gonna be a lot more shows happening in the fall fall uh so stay tuned for that but if you like this episode and you want more episodes like that just give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below all right time for me to go talk to you soon guys bye